hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing really well and having a lovely week so far so for today's video i have got some beautiful new in pieces from everlane this month and i'm going to be styling up each piece into a full spring outfit as usual everything featured throughout the video will be linked below in the description box and i will also pop my size next to each item for comparison as well but if you do have any questions about anything, then just leave a comment and I will get back to you. Um, before I get started, if you do enjoy the video and you haven't already, I would love it if you could subscribe. And I will also pop my Instagram name up on the screen as well if you would like to come and follow me over there for daily outfit inspo. Um, but let's get going with outfit number one. Okay, so this is the first outfit, and if you saw Sunday's video on trench coats, then you will have already seen me briefly talking about this beautiful green trench coat. And this is a new colour release this month of Evelyn's classic drape trench coat, which I am obsessed with. I've already got it in the kind of khaki colour and in stone as well. I, I'll insert a little clip of both of them but they are just beautiful, such a gorgeous style of trench coat and I love this kind of forest green colour, a little bit different as well to your classic beige trenches um, and yeah the style of it is just lovely, it falls really nicely, it's super soft, it's really comfortable and flowy and it doesn't feel stiff like some trench coats can. Um, and yeah, I just think it looks really great styled like this with quite a neutral outfit. But I also think it would be lovely coming into autumn, winter styled with darker colours as well. Underneath I've got on this white cotton shirt. This is quite lightweight. It's almost a little bit sheer. I did pop it on with a white bra underneath first. And you could just see the white underneath. So I have got a nude bra on now. And I don't think you can see the nude. Um, but just bear in mind that it's not the thickest, which is perfect for spring, summer. Um, but yeah, just, just wanted to mention that in case you prefer a thicker white cotton. And then I've also got on these high-waisted wide leg jeans as well in this gorgeous kind of beigey stone colour. They do also come in three different blue washes and black as well. But I just thought this colour was lovely for spring summer. Um, and then on my feet I have got on these tan leather loafers. I'm wearing these in a US 7 and I'm a UK 4.5 and, and they are a little bit tight so I would say size up a full size and then obviously convert to US sizes um, but yeah I would say they probably run a full size small um, but they are such a lovely pair of loafers, the quality is beautiful, they feel really comfortable like they're cushioned on the inside um, and they're just a really gorgeous pair of classic loafers and again perfect spring footwear and then to finish off the outfit i've just styled it up with this beige leather bag which is also from everlane and it works perfectly with like the beigey neutral tones of the outfit also i did just want to mention that these jeans do have like a little line on them almost like a little kind of crease indented that you can turn them up or out if you'd rather so if you want them to be a little bit shorter i will just show you in the cutaway um, but you can just turn them up on themselves and it gives you like the look of a cropped jean instead and because of the indented line they stay like this they won't kind of droop down okay this next outfit is definitely giving me spring summer vibes um i will start off with the blazer which unfortunately is from last year it is from everlane but i got it last year so i don't know if it will still be available if it is, then obviously I will leave it linked below. If not, then hopefully they will have a new one in very soon, in a very similar style. Um, but it's just a beautiful linen blend blazer, a little bit oversized, just wonderful. Um, this little dusky pink body is a new release this month. It's got little cap sleeves. I have got the same body in white with long sleeves, um, but this is a new colour release. I think it's a new style as well with the cap sleeves. Um, and just perfect for spring summer and it does come in a thong or a pants style so whatever your preference is and then i have also got on these white skinny jeans and i love a good pair of white skinny jeans in the summer i just think they are just a great wardrobe staple for spring summer i know that skinny jeans aren't always seen as like cool anymore <laughs> But who cares? I love them. I think they're really flattering and these are a really, really great pair. I went for the ankle length in them because again in spring summer I just think ankle length jeans look really cute. 
um, and they're just a really good fit. They fit me perfectly on the waist. I'm wearing a size 26. Normally I size down Neverlane jeans to a 25. 26 is my regular size and I went for my regular size and actually I'd say they're pretty true to size so don't size down. They're not see-through at all, they're quite thick but also really stretchy at the same time. Um, just a really really lovely shape. And then on my feet I have got on some loafers which again I got from Everlane last year. If they're still available I will link them but they also come in black and um, red I think and I also think they come in like a snake print as well. Okay this next outfit definitely feels a lot more workwear-ish but I feel like you could definitely make it more casual by styling it with trainers instead of these black pumps that I've got on now. Um, but I have got on the same white shirt that I had on in the first outfit but over the top I have put on this pale grey cashmere jumper and you've probably seen me talk about these basic cashmere jumpers from Everlane before if you've seen my previous Everlane videos but they are just beautiful quality, they are 100% cashmere, they are super super soft and just really really lovely quality and I just thought this colour was perfect for spring, it's kind of like a very pale grey with a slight hint of blue of blue in it as well. And I went for the medium this time because I wanted it to be a little bit oversized. And then I've also got on these black smart trousers. These are 94% cotton and 6% elastane. So they've got quite a smart look to them, but they also feel really comfortable at the same, at the same time. They're quite stretchy um, and just a really, really lovely fit as well. They're quite high-waisted, um, really flattering shape. And they finish at the perfect length on me and I'm five foot six for comparison. And then to finish off the outfit, I've got on these little black shoes, which I've seen on Everlane so many times before and always been tempted to order them, always in the best selling section. Um, and they are just a very simple black leather pump. Again, they run small. I am wearing them in a size six and a half and I'm a UK four and a half and they're a bit too small for me so I would say I'd say size up by at least half a size and then to finish off the outfit for those slightly chillier days I also popped on the black trench coat which is the same as the green one I showed you in the first outfit but it also comes in black as well again a new colour release this month and just a beautiful black classic trench coat really lovely quality again it falls really nicely and it's just a really lovely fit i'm wearing it in a size extra small and i would say it does come up um it runs slightly large so if you are unsure then i would say to size down um but yeah beautiful coat and it finishes off the outfit perfect okay next up we have a suit and i was going to style these two pieces separately but i thought do you know what Let's go for it. So I've whacked them on together with a linen shirt and trainers. And I actually think it looks really cool styled like this, like in a real casual day way. Um, but then I think it would look gorgeous with heels as workwear as well. But if I'm honest, I think personally, I would probably wear them separately more than I would wear them together. Like this blazer would just be gorgeous with jeans and a shirt or a t-shirt um, or even with denim shorts and the trousers just with the linen shirt on its own are lovely but they'd also look nice with bodies tucked in with t-shirts um so yeah really lovely together but lovely separately as well and this is a new release like both pieces are new in at everlane this month it is 100 percent lyocell so it's got a lovely smooth soft feel to the fabric very kind of spring summery um quite lightweight it is lined as well on the inside and then a little pocket on the inside as well um, and just feels really beautiful quality. I know I say that about everything from Everlane, but it's true. Everything is really lovely quality. And then underneath I've got on a white linen shirt. This is an absolute favourite of mine in my wardrobe. I get so, so much wear out of it. Um, and I just think a good linen shirt is a great spring summer wardrobe staple. And then I have got on some little cream trainers as well that are also from Everlane to finish off the outfit and make it a lot more casual um, but like I said before I would wear this with heels, I'd wear it with loafers and I would definitely wear it separately as well. Okay for this next outfit I have got on the same white skinny jeans as before, tan leather loafers again and then another trench coat. Um, this is exactly the same style as the blue and the black one but in this beautiful pale stone colour. I've had this since last year but it is still available so it will be linked in the description box and again 
beautiful don't really need to talk about it anymore and then underneath i have got on this gorgeous blue shirt and this is 100 percent cotton but it's got an almost linen feel to it it's got quite a thick summery linen ish feel to it um beautiful quality beautiful tone of blue as well and very spring summer especially styled with the cream of the trench coat and the white denim and the tan leather loafers i think these colors together are such a perfect combination for spring um i did size up in this i'm wearing it in a us six I would normally go for a two or a four in shirts from Everlane. I went for six and I like the way it fits like this. So I would definitely say to size up in this one if you want it to be a little bit looser. And I have just styled it untucked, but I also think it would look really lovely tucked into high-waisted jeans or trousers as well. For this next outfit, I've just kept it super simple and I've got on a black shirt, bleached jeans and black sandals. And because I wear my white Everlane shirt so, so much, I decided to order it in the black as well. And it's just as beautiful in the black. Um, I sized up in this again. I went for a, I think I went for a six. I will leave all my size in the description box, but I'm pretty sure I went for a US six. Um, and it fits perfectly. It's a little bit oversized, but just how I, just how I like a linen shirt to fit. I think it's nice when they're a little bit roomy. Um, and I have just tucked the bottom of it in, but if I just untuck it so I can show you the length it just sort of dips up slightly at the side and then a little bit longer at the back um, and obviously I've rolled the sleeves up because that's personally how I like to wear a linen shirt with the sleeves just rolled up and kind of keeping it super casual and then these jeans are also from Everlane I've had these for a few months um, but I tend not to wear bleach denim too much in the winter it's more like a spring summer look for me um, but these are the cheeky jeans and Again, they're just a really, really good pair of jeans. You've probably seen me talk about these before if you've seen previous Everlane videos. And I have just rolled them up a couple of times at the bottom just to keep it a little bit more casual and start it with these black sandals, which were also from Everlane last year. I'm not sure if they'll still be in stock, but again, I think they will probably have something very similar this year. So if I can't read the, if I can't link these ones, I will link um, a similar alternative. And then this is the final outfit. And again, more blue and white. Um, but for me, blue and white is just the perfect spring combination. Um, so I've got on another shirt, uh, but this time it is 100% silk and another beautiful shirt. And despite it being 100% silk, it doesn't feel like it's not shiny at all. It almost feels a little bit like Lyocell. Um, but it's, it's kind of more like a brushed silk, I'd say. Um, but yeah, absolutely beautiful fabric. Feels really lovely on the skin and would be really great for workwear as well because it's got quite a smart sort of chic feel to it. And then I have just teamed it up with these white trousers. And I say trousers, I'd say they're more kind of like a cross between a trouser and a jean. They're called trousers online. Well, naturally, no, they're not. They're called pants online. Um, but obviously, we would call them trousers in the UK. Um, but they're kind of like, yeah, they're kind of like a cross between a jean and a trouser. They've got 2% elastane, so they've got a good amount of stretch in it. They're very, very comfortable. And they're a good alternative to the white skinny jeans if you're just not a fan of skinny jeans and you prefer something a little bit looser, um, then these are a really, really cool option. And I love the shape of them as well. I think they're really... Yeah, really nice shape. And then I've just styled them up with these sandals, which are also from Everlane. Again, I got these last year. And I would probably pop a blazer over the top while it's still a little bit chilly. Um, the long trench coat, like the cream trench coat, I'd pop that over the top as well. Or obviously just wear it like this. Okay, so that's all of the outfits and all of the new pieces from Everlane this month. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And I'd love to know which outfit was your favourite as well. Do leave a comment and let me know which outfit you liked the most. Um, as I mentioned before, everything will be linked below in the description box and I will pop my size up to each item as well for comparison. And if you've got any questions, just leave a comment and I will get back to you. Um, but yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye!